welcome back to cad cam tutorial today we are going to learn some we are going to do some simple example in solidworks sheet metal and here we will learn some basic commands of sheet metal and uh, we will see how to make this flatten version and we can save it in 2d file i hope you like it so let's start to create this one now let go to file choose new parts okay now here we are going to make some more practice in sheet metal so now let's try to do some simple example so uh, we will choose here better to right click and choose here sheet metal now here we will choose first command base flange once you click this one it will, it will ask you which plane do you like to draw so i'll choose here top plane see center rectangle and let me draw a rectangle a smart dimension and let's define the upper one hundred and thirty five millimeter and the vertical length seventy five millimeter click exit once you click exit it will automatically extend now here thickness we need to define so we will choose two millimeter that's enough k factor it is by default zero point zero one five keep as it is okay now that's it now it's time to use meter flange where is meter flange once you select it will ask you select plane or face so we will select this end once you select this end just take normal and here draw our geometry what you like to draw so I'll draw geometry like this okay make sure it is horizontal that's fine let's define length we will keep 50 millimeter and the 20 millimeter horizontal distance now simply select exit now once you select exit see one thing is selected now here meter perimeter let me choose some more edges so second third and the last one fourth see a closed geometry going to be create with the help of meter flange here we decided to keep material inside you will see here material bend is inside and uh, this is the gap so it is uh, by default or automatically selected in between this two parts a uh, two geometry two tapered face and start and end this one gives zero offset we will see some in later example okay look that's how we created if you choose flatten view you will see a perfect flatten view now let's add some more things here what other things we can add let me add edge flange uh, okay we will if we want to add some more base flange you can simply select base flange click this face normal corner rectangle and we want to expand this face so we will start with this point right click exit now let me meet this end point to this end point that's it let's let me define the length 16 millimeter this is not fully defined that means this is not met a now that's fully defined means it met exit now once you select exit it will ask you two millimeter thickness if you want to change you can just simply uh, change it from here but due to this thickness it will fix lock this one up to two millimeter thickness because we choose two millimeter in previous thickness okay if, if merge result show means it will combine and make one piece see now let's add some age flange I'll choose this one edge and I'll drag upward see it's going upward now here you can define the angle angle let's say 3 millimeter 
okay now the material we will keep inside and the bending length 20 millimeter see okay see this is how we added a wall now let's add some hamming see here ham tool so let's add some ham here now here we need to apply choose edge so we will choose this outside edge see it comes inside even you can change the direction also so but we will keep inside any edge you can choose it's up to you now see material inside and we will choose closed it's too big here the length we will define 15 millimeter 15 millimeter it seems bigger so that we will choose 12 millimeter so that we can easily identify even though 10 millimeter is also we can identify here okay now see how we applied here now one what we can else apply here uh, I think uh, nothing more we can apply in this example we can apply extruded cut select the face normal and let me choose circle now select both the circles equal S center point and make a relation horizontal that's it uh, let's define 25 millimeter from bottom and from this end 30 millimeter whatever dimension you can define that's not big deal 30 millimeter and the diameter let's keep 15 millimeter see it's fully defined exit once you click exit it's going to trim both the lines by uh, circles but we want to choose only one so just go to selected control choose one circle here you can select through all so that it's going to create a hole in both wall okay but we selected only one circle here now see now in the same way you can choose the sketch again select extruded cut here also come to selected contour and choose this circle the remaining circle but we want to cut here only one wall not throughout so you can choose here up to next you can see the preview it's going to cut only up to this two millimeter thick wall okay now see one hole is throughout one is only up to wall if you want to choose flatten version you can just click flatten and see this is ready if you want to convert this into 2d file just simply select export to dxf file save why dxf file because dxf file you can use in any other uh, CAD softwares like AutoCAD or CATI or anything sheet metal okay now it's going to convert into 2d file and that file you can open in AutoCAD also and dxf file also useful for the CNC programming now see this is very useful for the CNC programming let me save now let me exit from the flatten version so this is the simple example for the beginners who want to learn sheet metal commands in SOLIDWORKS here we we saw how to use base flange meter flange edge flange and ham tool in SOLIDWORKS and we did some extruded cut command also here I hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS if you have any questions just write down below we will try to answer each and every question thanks for watching